Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. So today we are starting a new series on Hive interview questions. So in this series, the first video we are doing is what is Apache Hive? So guys, let's see what is Apache Hive. So Apache Hive is a data warehouse software which facilitates the data reading, writing and managing large scale data sets which are residing in the different distributed storages using SQL like language. So guys in uh, in very simple terms Apache Hive is a data warehouse software but it is different from the fact that it helps you in reading and writing data on the different uh, different distributed file systems and uh, the language which is provided to read and write the huge data sets residing in distributed storages is called HQL. So the full form of the HQL is Hive Query Language and that is similar to the SQL statements. Uh, primarily uh, Apache Hive is a data warehouse which is built on top of Hadoop. It was meant for the Hadoop system so that we can uh, you know analyze or query data uh, using the SQL like language on the underlying structured or unstructured data. It can read data from multiple formats like uh, Parkey, Avro, ORC, etc. And uh, uh, as it provides a SQL-like construct on top of Hadoop HDFS, it is also called SQL on Hadoop. Uh, if we talk about something uh, about the internals of the Hive, whenever you fire any query with Hive, it gets converted into MapReduce jobs, which is taken care by the underlying engines execution engines provided with the Hive like Taze, Spark or MapReduce. So guys, once again, want to reiterate Apache Hive is a data warehouse. It is meant to read and write data on top of the distributed file systems like Hadoop HDFS. Uh, it provides us a mechanism to project a structure on top of the unstructured or semi-structured data and that data can be queried with the help of SQL like language, which is called HQL Hive Query Language. So, guys, there are a couple of misconceptions about Hive. So, let's clarify. First of all, Apache Hive is not a relational database, or in fact, is not a database, it's a data warehouse on distributed file systems. Uh, Apache Hive is not at all a good design uh, option for uh, online transaction processing. OLTP systems and the reason is pretty simple as being a data warehouse on distributed systems it doesn't provide any record level inserts updates or delete we will discuss in detail in next slide what does it mean also Apache Hive is not as such a language for real time queries and row level inserts or updates so uh, sometimes people get confused that Apache Hive is another uh, database, which is not a uh, which is not a case. It's not at all a relational database, and it's absolutely not meant for writing OLTP systems. So uh, let's try to understand what are the dif different features provided by the Apache Hive. Uh, primarily, it's a data warehouse tool to enable easy access to the data uh, with the help of its Hive query language, which is very much similar to the SQL construct and thus allow tasks like extract, transform and load along with reporting and ad hoc data analysis. So uh, as a typical data warehouse, if it can help you to uh, uh, facilitate uh, softwares writing the extract, transform and load and you can use Hive to do the ad hoc analysis uh, and reporting as such. Uh, as we have already discussed, it's provided us a mechanism that we can impose some structure on top of the underlying, you know, unstructured or semi-structured data present in say HDFS uh, file system. We can, uh, uh, and we can, we can create a schema on top of it and we can represent that schema in the form of table. And then using the HQL, we can query that table and retrieve the data from the underlying distributed system. Uh, it uh, not only supports Hadoop file system, Hadoop HDFS, but it also provides support for other systems like Apache Edge Base. So uh, the underlying uh, execution happens with the help of 
uh, query execution engines provided or can be plugged with Hive. Uh, there are three execution engines which are available or supported by Hive, which are Apache Taze, MapReduce, obviously, and now recently Apache Spark is also an execution engine. So whenever you will type or fire any query uh, with Hive, it will be sent to these execution engines and then they will process that particular uh, data retrieval request uh, as per their internal con construct. If it is like MapReduce, it will do the uh, mapping and reducing of the task and return the result back. If in case it would be Spark, the in-memory compute will happen and the results, results, would, be, uh, results would be populated. Also, it can uh, Hive can provide subsequent query retrieval with Apache Yarn. If we'll go with Apache Yarn uh, along with the MapReduce as an engine, it can provide us this subsequent query retrieval. Uh, let's like try to look a little more uh, internal features about Hive. Let's see what are the different data units in Hive. So, in the order of granularity, uh, Hive data is organized into these uh, fourth. Uh, four uh, categories. First is the database, as we call it. It's the database is nothing but a namespace uh, so that you can create different namespace and uh, keep your tables and data inside it. It is just meant to avoid conf confusion because it may happen that you may have different files with the same table name. Uh, you know, So if you will have one namespace, it will be easy to avoid the conflict like it's similar to how it happens in a regular RDPMS. You can have different schema names and then you can have a table with same name or in different schemas, so which will avoid the confusion while you are doing the data retrieval or writing any queries. Uh, the next level is the tables. Uh, tables are the structure which you will project on top of the underlying unstructured or semi-structured data. Say in HDFS, you have some data, you can project a schema on top of that. For example, if in your uh, HDFS, you have some files, uh, PAR, key, Evro, or ORC files, say for a particular user, and it has got uh, data fields like username, user ID, phone number, email, etc. Then uh, using Hive, you can project a schema and create a table, and then you can query that table with the HQL. Uh, next is the partition. So each table which you can create with Hive uh, can have one or more partitions. This is partitioning is basically meant to uh, facilitate faster data retrievals as Hive is meant to work on the uh, huge data sets on top of HDFS Hadoop world. Uh, it is imperative that we have the right partitioning in place to uh, expedite the fa fa to expedite the data retrievals and uh, in this direction hive also pro provides us a mechanism to do the custom partitioning uh, buckets is the last level it's uh, bucket is like uh, that uh, it's you can say it is a partitioning inside a partition so sometime um, a need may arise that we need to further uh, subdivide a particular partition and that uh, subdivision of a partition is called bucket. So we can uh, do bucketing with Hive uh, using, say, any of the custom algorithms, like using a hash function for some column value, etc. So that whenever we'll we'll uh, uh, you know collate or structure the underlying data into a particular schema and do a bucketing, uh, the those per particular column values based on that uh, hash function will go into that bucket and in that case your data retrievals would be even more fast so guys that's it in uh, today's video just quickly want to reiterate guys uh, want to reiterate on the fact that uh, there are a couple of misconceptions as we have discussed uh, hive is not a database it's not meant for OLTP systems because it doesn't support record level uh, insert updates or deletes it is not a query to do any kind of real time. Uh, it's not a language to do any kind of real time queries. It is a pure data warehouse meant to facilitate read and write on top of Hadoop system. It is also called SQL and Hadoop. Using Apache Hive, you can analyze read data on top of the underlying distributed systems in a, in a SQL like construct using the Hive query language. 
So guys, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.